and unashamedly in the pocket of energy companies, big corporations and media moguls. Our democracy is under threat from all sides. But that it is, that's why it's so moving to see this many people standing up for what is right and just. Equality, egality, humanity and democracy. The press paint Jeremy Corbyn as a political extremist, yet go easy on a Prime Minister who may or may not have been photographed in flagrante with the severed head of a farmyard animal. This is anti-democratic. Often the left get tagged with, oh, well, you're anti-business and anti-capitalist. It's not about being anti-capitalist. It's about making sure that all of that wealth and all of that power doesn't, doesn't um, gather in, in only, only a few people's, individuals' hands. I mean, that is historically uh, unbelievably anti-democratic and really dangerous to democracy and our freedoms. I just think that this government is abhorrent and is treating its people abhorrently and I think that the media is really helping to keep people in the dark about that. When you look at the statistics, 80% of our newspapers in Britain are owned by five billionaires. You look at who those five billionaires are and the way their political allegiances lie, etc. so on and so forth. This is not a democratic way to run things.